In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the gun bunch in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about how you can get better at Madden 21 through offensive and defensive videos. We post about 8 videos every single day on our YouTube channel, short videos, medium length videos, and long form content as well. So. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss one of our most recent videos. And in today's video, I'm actually doing an expansion or kind of a part two on a video I did earlier today about stopping the gun bunch. I believe that gun bunch is probably the, still the most popular offense in Madden 21, if not the most popular definitely in the top two or three uh, of offenses that you're going to face. And so I thought that I, what I would do is basically share with you a couple of different defenses. Now today's defense is going to be a zone coverage that is really, really good for the gun bunch. Kind of my base zone defense when I'm playing um, the gun bunch. And this is actually an excerpt or a sample to my full nickel 335 wide defensive ebook. Now if you have not got the defensive ebook yet, I would highly encourage you to pick it up there is a link in the description where you can pick that up. But really quickly, before I dive too far into the video, I wanted to let you know that you can get a free, almost one hour sample video of the defensive ebook by shooting me a text message. And my number is in the description. It's also in the top left hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so nickel 335. Uh, nickel 335 wide and we're talking about the gun bunch in particular now my coaching adjustments are as follows right here I have auto flip on auto alignment to default ball in air defense to play receiver Cornerback matchups on balance option defense on conservative and zone drops are going to be on 20 to 25 yards To be able to really lock down some of the most uh, dominant passing routes in Madden NFL 21 all right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to dive right in. Now, again, with this defense, you are going to want to primarily focus on coming out in the nickel 335 normal formation and audibling down into the 335 wide. This allows you to get the best personnel possible. And the play that we're going to be talking about today is the Mike Blitz 3. You notice here I have it in my audibles. It's the best play, in my opinion, the best defensive play in the entire game because it comes with the best zone coverage that you can possibly create. It has seamed flats, which are really good for not only stuff stopping corner routes and crossing routes, but they also stop the seam streak routes that a lot of people like to run. And then this also has a three rec hook zone, which three rec hook zones do a phenomenal job of stopping a majority of what people like to do. So what we're going to do is come out in any nickel 335 play we want. I typically like to come out in the nickel 335 cover four drop as a kind of a, a defense I might use uh, from time to time. And then I audible down into the Mike Blitz three. Now the base setup is actually relatively simple. Essentially what we're going to try to do is we're going to lock up the left side of the field with zone coverage and we're going to lock up the right or I'm sorry, we're going to lock up the left side of the field with man coverage and we're going to lock up the right side of the field with zone coverage. Now the one trick with this is if anything runs to the left side of the formation, meaning if there's a drag route or a crossing route or a slant route that goes from right to left, our responsibility is to make sure that we cover that um, as a user player. So that being said, here's the setup. It's actually relatively simple. All we're going to do is we're going to press coverage. We're going to shift uh, or shade our coverage uh, to the outside here. And then we're going to do the following. We're going to put our right of screen linebacker in a hard flat. So you see that right there, right of screen linebacker in a hard flat. And then that's pretty much it for the right side of the field. But on the left side of the field, what we're going to do is we're going to take that linebacker and we're going to man him up on the running back. And then we're going to go ahead and play man-to-man -man coverage on the outside. And the one thing that I would recommend um, is that you shade coverage over top. But make sure that you do that before you actually um, dive into this too far. Meaning, what, what I mean by that is you what you want to do is I like to go ahead and individually adjust um, individually adjust the coverage on Mike Evans and make sure that I am backing off the coverage. As you see right there, that's going to help a ton so that you don't get burned over the top, but you still are able to keep some of the really nice zone plays that you have in this defense. And that's pretty much it. That's the setup. And what you're going to notice here is this will take away a lot of people's flood concepts to the right side of the field. A lot of people like to run these flood concepts. But as you can see, we pretty much have it bottled up. And I want to show you a specific route combination that I guarantee you you will face if you face the gun bunch. It's probably the most popular concept that was ran in the MCS. And we're going to talk about it here in just a second. But take a look here. You see we're able to get the flat route. 
We're able to also get that corner route. We're able to get that streak route with that cover three box coverage. And then on the left side here, you notice that we've got nice man coverage and we're able to you know, do a good job of hanging with the running back as well. So those are some really, really good tools uh, within this defense. All right, guys, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to talk about a very specific route combination that you're guaranteed going to see in this game, and that is this right here. You're going to see this route combination. Um, you're going to probably see this in Weekend League. You're going to see this in head-to-head. Uh, -head. You're going to see this all over the place. This is one of the best route combinations in the entire game. As you see right here, essentially what it is is there's a flood concept to the right side of the field, but that corner route goes super, super wide and super, super sharp um, to be able to get some really nice separation. So all we're going to do to stop this is we're going to go ahead and put that flat out there that hard flat and then from there we're going to do the same exact coverage we're going to man up on mike evans and then we're going to man up on the running back now one other little pro tip that you can use with this if you want to i actually sometimes will create a cross man type of feel where i took the linebacker and i man him up on mike evans and i take the outside slot corner or I'm sorry, the outside corner, and man him up on the running back just like this. I find this coverage to actually be really, really good. If they try to streak, as long as you pass commit, that linebacker will get back on that ball. But anyway, long story short, let's take a look at this route combination, and I'll show you the user lurk that you're able to have here. Now, if you take a look at this defense, um, you see here we pretty much have everything covered, and the quarterback is going to have to kind of sit in the pocket a lot and ends up taking a, a coverage sack. Now, what I wanted to show you and what I want to illustrate for you is if you take a look at the way that this outside third plays uh, from the Mike Blitz 3, what you're going to notice here is on this right side, we're able to take away the out route. We're also able to have a pretty decent chance of this corner route. Now, this corner route does get out there relatively well, but there's one, there's a couple different types of adjustments that you can do on that outside corner to be able to make it play a little bit better. And as you see, the tight end streak route does get covered, and the drag route is actually really, really well covered with inside leverage as well as a manned up user uh, in that space. Now, really quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of force feed the corner route. And I just want to show you that the best quarterbacks in Madden can fit this in, meaning the quarterbacks that understand exactly what they're doing, they can actually fit this in. However, it doesn't look as open as you might think. But anyways, all that to say, this is what people will do to you, especially out of the bunch, uh, if, if you are running you know, this type of defense. Let me show it to you really quickly. If you watch Chris Godwin, I'm simply going to force feed this ball. And as you see there, you see how that cornerback comes down on the ball? That is very, very consistent with the way that the defense is going to play. It's actually very, very consistent because of the fact that we have um, these matching principles within this 3-3-5 uh, defense. So I'll show you this one more time. And to kind of mimic my user, what I'll do is I'll just put him in a little hook curl to the left side. Um, typically, that's where I'm going to use her is the left side and up the seam. Um, that's kind of my, you know, my, my spot but take a look at this corner route one more time and i just want to show you one little thing with this so you see here he you see how that outside third kind of hangs on it he does drift on him at the very end but there's no window to throw it and there's no way that they can really accurately do that now i'm going to show you one other setup that you will see from time to time uh, and that is something like this right here you see we've got a crossing route uh, we've got some underneath routes patterns just like this right here. This is a very popular concept. And do know that when you see a crossing route, your job as the user is to kind of fill that position right in that zone. So just know that's kind of be kind of where we're looking to defend. Uh, and then also, as you see here, we do have that wide, you know, we do have that little match, mismatch, mismatch combo there. But if you take a look at Chris Godwin, watch here. We're going the same route combination. And look at that corner just completely take that away. As you see right there, it does a great job of taking away one of the most popular concepts from the gun bunch in the entire game. Um, and so that is really an amazing little feature of this defense. It does a great job against route combinations like that. Now, one little thing that I would recommend, and this is just my personal recommendation um, when you're running this, if you see this slot, meaning the slot, meaning uh, Chris Godwin, if you see him go vertical, that is a signal that you might want to drift back with your user. And the reason why I say that is if they have a specific type of route, and it does take a very specific type of route for this to work, um, it won't work on the play that I'm about to show you. But what you'll notice here is if they try to kind of force this in, you'll see that there's a tiny, tiny window right there that they can hit you over the top. 
one thing to understand about this uh, defense so that you can be prepared um, for what you're going to face. One other little trick that I like to use is an outside quarter. What you'll notice is these outside corners do this a similar job to outside thirds, meaning they play kind of similarly, but they also can get some things that outside thirds could not get. So let me show you first and foremost the, the curl flat play um, so that we can show you that that is kind of taken care of. Um, so again, I'm just going to run this, and if you just watch the corner route, you see that that outside quarter is going to go out there, and he is going to make a play on that ball. Typically, he'll make an interception if I were to click onto the player. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is I want to show you um, this Pat Sale play with the corner route to Antonio Brown. A lot of people like this. This is a similar version of the clear out FLN, which is one of the best plays uh, in the entire game. And what you'll notice here is... If you watch the slot, and this is why if you see that slot streaking up the seam, I think it's a really good idea to try to go out and get it. But you notice here that this gives the safety a lot more responsibility to be able to get back on the ball. And ultimately, he does get back on the ball and make a play. So you can mess around a little bit with that outside quarter. You could also mix in some deep halves. But really the easiest thing that you could do, uh, in my opinion, is to go ahead and simply take one more player in man coverage. So all we're going to do is we're going to continue with that little zone right there, the three rack. We're going to continue with the hard flat on the side. But what we're going to do is we're simply going to take this linebacker right here and we're going to man him up onto the slot corner uh, back. And then we're going to do kind of this, a similar type of thing. You see that right there, that little crisscross um, matchup man coverage there. The only thing we lose is we don't have a purple zone to the left. So anything that goes to the left side, any crossing route, anything that goes to that side of the field. We're gonna go get that ourselves with our user, but as you'll see here, this man coverage really can get back on there and give you that one extra player that you need to be able to stop this route. So this has been the zone defense. Now one last little touch of this is a way to bring pressure. Um, how do you bring pressure out of this? It's actually very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to simply crash your line out, and then from there, that's literally it. That's literally it. I'm, I'm just going to run down and snap the ball, and you'll see we're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback and continue to keep relatively decent coverage across the board. The seam flats are probably the best zone in the game, in my personal opinion. And when you combine those with really, really good cover three, three wrecks, and things like that, it becomes a really good zone defense. So this Mike Blitz, in my opinion, is the best defense in the game. And we actually go even more in-depth and break down more setups and more defenses that you can use to be able to lock up any and every offense in this game in our defensive ebook. So make sure, if you haven't already picked it up, that link is in the description. And if you would like to get a sample formation of the ebook, meaning a little preview, I have about an hour of a video that that kind of introduces the defense and shares with you what you can expect from the guide as well as some sample plays that are very, very effective in this game. So be sure to text me for that. My phone number is 812-216-3644. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to thank you for your support on the channel. I want to invite you to come check out our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. And last but not least, guys, just want to quickly remind you, if you want to get this defense, I believe, and a lot of players, a lot of pro players, believe this is the best defense defense in Madden right now. I believe it's been the best defense in Madden since June or July. That's how long we've been running this. So make sure to go ahead and go into the description and pick it up because you will not regret it. This defense is winning people games, winning people money, and allowing people to basically make defense great again. So if you haven't already picked up the ebook, go ahead, head down in the description and pick it up. We'll see you on tonight's live stream.